Here we're going to show you how to add information. In other words, create harmonies in this example to an already mixed and mastered stereo track. Now, it doesn't have to be mixed and mastered. It could be any kind of audio you're working with. But in this example, we have a stereo file. And we're going to look into it, find a couple of parts here, and demonstrate how to add information to something that's already been released like this in case you ever come across this in your workflow or just want to have fun. Take a listen. All right, the first thing you want to do is identify which parts in this performance you want to add information corresponding to. What do I want to harmonize? And I want to take these, the ooze that he's singing throughout these passages here. And I'll give you a really neat, handy tip here. I'm going to switch to my selector tool, my main tool. And I'm going to select a note. Let's say this was the first note. I'm going to hold my shift key and it becomes the snake tool as I click and drag. Now I'm connecting a chain of notes that's going to represent the information that I want to harmonize. Okay, it's as easy as that. Now I just noticed something here. There's a gap between this note and this note. I'm not seeing the note. Let's take a listen there. It's there, but Melodyne may have incorrectly placed it somewhere else on the, the uh, pitch scale. It's probably down here. Now this can happen sometimes. It's important to realize stuff like this can occur and how to quickly correct it. So let's come up here to my, right here in the top left corner, the note assignment mode, select it, and we go into our note assignment mode. And sure enough, I've got an outline here, which is telling me that's probably the note that I'm missing. I'm gonna simply double click in there. And there you see some energy transferred from this area right up to that area there. Everybody see how easy? This actually was also an A note and it brought the information correctly an octave above to the right tone of A that we were looking for. And when you're all done, just go back to your edit mode and it's now committed. And there's the missing information that we wanted. Now, again, with our selector tool, I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna snake to select the flow, and there's that note of audio that we want to add to our selection. Well, there's something like that. Now you could take some more time to get a little bit more detail, but I really just want to highlight the process in this video. Now we come up to edit if you'd like and choose copy. Now what did Melodyne do? It put all of those selected notes in the clipboard and I can scrub anywhere in the timeline and paste those. But since I want to create harmonies, I want to go right above. So I'm going to select right about there and then choose paste. And there you see the audio is copied on top of what we're wanting to harmonize. Now I'm going to come to my pitch tool because I want to take those copies and I want to bring them up to a new pitch location. But first I want to make sure I want to have my scale, my um, right here, my scale snap on. You have note snap, chromatic snap, and scale snap. Scale snap will help you avoid accidentals, just to stay in the key that the song was detected and recorded in. So select any one of them now and drag. And there you see, the information is now added into this WAV file. Now, if I was to play this, it would be a cookie cutter cut and paste. Those tones, those new um, pitches we created would sound in a new pitch location, but they'd have the same modulation, the same amplitude, all the same timing characteristics. So we want to create a second performance feel in this example, right? So the first thing we're going to do now is how do we create a second performance feel? Well, we want to keep all of these notes selected until our work is done. It's a lot easier to do that. So keep that in mind. One thing I always like to do first is select my amplitude tool and I'm going to notch them down. Okay, that's about 7.32 dBs. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, you could just double click in this box and say, let's say minus six dBs, and there you go. Let's take a listen to this just for reference. All right, now we're just getting started. Another thing I like to do is go back to my pitch tool, and underneath that, we've got modulation. 
and you can select this to taste. I can drag this and change the modulation of that. I can increase it, maybe add a little bit more vi musical vibrato, for example. And underneath that, we've got the pitch drift tool. Often a double click with this will equalize the pitch drift. It'll create a more of a sonic energy around tonal center for you, really lock them to the uh, where they are relative to, to where they're recorded in their tonal center. But looking at this audio, you can see right now that it isn't, it isn't on tonal center yet. I can take my pitch tool, if, would you, if you want to put them in tonal center and double click, and now the copied and created harmonies are right on key. Uh, let's take a listen to how we're developing here. So we utilized a lot of tools to get started here, some basic editing tools like copy and pasting, but we pitch located them to a different location. We, we created a third, a harmony above that D major. We changed the modulation, the drifting, even locked them into tonal center, and we changed the amplitude. Now, if you wanted to create a little bit of a variance in these, you can come up to edit, and under edit, we've got random deviations. This will create more of a second performance feel, more humanizing, I like to call it. Under pitch, we got subtle, moderate, and drastic. I'll do moderate for now. And you'll see how they've all transformed a little bit in different places randomly. And under deviations, I'm gonna do timing, a little more subtle. And just ever so slightly, I didn't even notice it. Let's do it again. I'll go under deviations again and do moderate this time. And it just nudged them a little bit more. Take a listen now. Now, if you want to A-B your work in, the, in an example like this, because we're not working with multiple tracks, this audio is being applied onto the original stereo track. I'm going to come up to my amplitude tool and double click on the selected audio and it'll mute them. So we can do a before and after. I'm going to use my do and redo keys on my, my keyboard to hear it. Now I'll undo and bring the notes back. So unlike creating harmonies by copy and pasting from multiple tracks, what we did here is I took a stereo file, reached into it, thanks to polyphonic waveform detection and editing here in Melodyne 4. And I copied a vocal passage, these, these high notes that the singer is singing, and I literally took those copied notes and placed them a third above, and we tweaked them a little bit. Now, again, you can do this to taste. This is just a process video, but the best way is to always get started and find out and have fun for yourself. So thanks for watching.